Today we will propose a new way of uh, suckling pig on Mediterranean. So what we have today, we have uh, a really small suckling pig. We will actually remove partial of the bone and we will stuff it with some uh, ground pork, some egg to mix up with the pork, sea salt, we have uh, some uh, green pistachio, and some semi-dry apricot. This is go very well with the contested. We will combine also with a sweet skin on potato. We will cut in wedges and serve with uh, some extra virgin olive oil and rosemary. The sauce that we will try to make it today is actually a green apple, so it's a little bit tarty and sour to combine with the meat of the pig. So let's start it up. Follow me. So the first you need to have a baking tray. So let's have a baking tray here. A good sharp knife. And we will start to remove the bone from the pig. So slowly, slowly. We just need to follow the skin and the meat through the bone. And just slowly, slowly try to remove all the carcass. Just go inside. And you see the bone we can use also to put inside to give you the gravy. So, so just let's break it up. Just try to make a smaller piece. Some more bone. I think this is the quantity, just enough to put. Okay. What we're gonna do here now, preparing the stuff in. So the first, let's get some onion. So the onion, we're using the white onion, okay? They are the more sweet. So what we need to do, just chop roughly and saute it. Okay, just few cut on top. You can do even in that way, that is the easy way. And like you see, it's quite chunky, so you don't need to go very fine. It will give you all the flavor inside. Okay, let's just saute briefly. So we're gonna put some uh, olive oil. So we will put inside just enough to toss it. So now we're preparing the stuffing. So the first is to get the ground. We can start to put the salt, sea salt. Pistachio is uh, about the test, so if you like to feel the nuts when you have actually your uh, suckling pig, it's nice to add more. For the apricot, let's give you some roughly chopped also, so let's, we can use all. So roughly, again chunk. This is going to be enough. Okay. Here. Let's don't forget the onion. Time to time we need to saute. So just, you know, we just stew the onion just to release actually the sour part of the onion. So it's become sweet for this part. So if you have at home some bread, okay, normally you don't know how to use, implement it, use for the stuffing. So in this case, I have a few baguette here. Just get to slice it again in small pieces. Let's call it like a cube of bread, just to absorb the flavor and to maintain the meat compact when we do the stuff in. So, 
Sometimes you can use even uh, flavored bread. You know, there is some poppy seed flavor, uh, wall wheat. That is go very well. Don't worry, it's uh, the perfect one. So here the bread. And now, you see the onion is get caramelized. So we put the onion. You can put some cream. This we have a, like a, a fresh cream, just to help the bread consist in a creamy inside when you actually cut it in the future. Let's add just a one or two eggs. Okay. I love to put a little bit spicy, but this time let's put only some uh, black pepper, fresh, grated. And of course, here we have a selection of herbs. What I like to use today is maybe the rosemary. The rosemary is the most fragrance, strong fragrance that we have. And uh, let's chop roughly also. So get only the leaf because this stalk is quite bitter so you don't want to actually use it but you can put inside to the tray to give you the flavor to the external meat mm, smelling really strong the rosemary is always the most suitable for you do roasting and uh, not only for meat but also for a vegetable especially if it's some of you that like to have like a grilling or roast vegetable please put some rosemary inside it's always nice to have it Et voilà. So here we have uh, some chunky rosemary we put inside, sprinkle all, all around. Where can you find exotic surroundings, fine dining and a taste of the Mediterranean? Anzani's, where we put taste first. Perched on the Nivelle Hills of Cebu, Anzani's charming luxury attention to personal detail and freshness of ingredients make us the food lovers destination. Call us for a reservation now on 032-236-0097. Anzani's Restaurant. It's all about taste, friends and family.